showing our nationality. We showing our history, correct? Now we focus on what? These events. There's many events, but we focus on these events because it was very catastrophic to us, right? Now give me Deuteronomy 28, 15. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. This is when you put synopsis. This is Moses out of Egypt, right? He said, so, you know, we out of Egypt, he delivered us, God gave us the commandments. He said, Moses, go down there and instruct my people their commandments, right? What I want them to do. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now check that out. God said, you don't listen to me, I'm going to curse you. Now we already know it's simple. It's, 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 we already know curse ain't a good thing, right? You say if you don't obey me, I'm gonna curse you, right? So this is now we about to show you this right here. Now give me verse sixteen, verse thirty-two, verse thirty-two. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. One of the curses is said, I'm gonna send another nation to take your kids and give it to another nation. Is that historically correct? Right? That happened. That is a curse from God. What? For what? What? What's the reason? We just read it. Because we didn't do what? We didn't obey the commandment, right? How did I? Now, I know the officer. So you swung the tribe of Judah. Where did you see yourself in my system? You don't know? Okay. Would you be. Okay. Well, listen. You, you would consider so you'll be a uh, so-called uh, Caucasian. Okay. All right. Now, give me. I want to ask you a question. Oh, y'all got together? Yeah. This your wife or your girlfriend? That's your wife. Okay. Now, give me uh, Deuteronomy seven. Y'all have y'all grew up in the Christian church? No. Okay. I'm gonna bring a law right here that you may have or you may not have heard. Now give me this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 3. Neither shall thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto thy unto his son, nor his daughter shall thou take unto thy son. You know what that means? Read it again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 3. Now, this is a commandment, a law that the Lord gave to the nation of Israel. Right? Neither shall thou make marriages with them. Who you think will be the them? The race, the other nation. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shall thou take unto thy son. So what did that talk about? God is saying no interracial marriage. Now that's harsh in, 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 in society now. But God is harsh. Now hold this the one away. Give me 32 and 8. I'm going to give you an example. I, I got you. My sister. How you doing, my sister? I'm sharing here with, 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 with my brother, his wife. We show who we all call to the Bible, right? That we the Israelites. The reason why we went to slavery because we disobeyed God. Now I'm bringing out a law about marriage towards my brother and his wife. Right? Um, Which is 32 and 8, if that's the one. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 8. This is how I want to clear out because a lot of times, a lot of people hear us or they might see us and they think it's a, a hateful thing, a, a division, a, a, a racially biased thing. But we got to understand we are reading God's word. And we're going to have to change our mentality because the mentality that we got with God is God is about hugging kisses. God ain't about hugging kisses. So watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 8. When the Most High divided the nation. What? Divided the nation. Divided the nation. But when you read in the scripture, remember uh, the Tower of Babel? He split us up. He said, we are supposed to have our own land, our own religion, all that. He does not want us to make. See, in society in America, it's the melting pot, right? That is against God. So that's why we go back to Deuteronomy 73. Right. Yep. The book of Deuteronomy, 
chapter 7, verse 3. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. So according to God, we are not supposed to marry outside our own nation. She's not supposed to marry our own nation. The Chinese are not supposed to marry their own nation. The Arabs are not supposed to marry their own nation. We are supposed to be in our separate, in unity, in peace, but we are supposed to be in separate. Is that clear? So according to God, you know what I'm so that's on you right there. That right there is a heavy task. How long y'all been married? 28, two years. So I'm sure you you, you love the you love your wife and, this, and, and you cherish her. You've been through a lot. But God demands obedience. So to obey God, you gotta do. You will have to leave her. Verse 4. Verse 4. For they will turn away thy son from following me. It's a thing, right? And when, once we started, now give me, um, what is it, Psalms 106 35, if I'm correct. Yeah. 34, give me 34. The book of Psalms, chapter 106, verse 34. They did not destroy the nation. We, when we came out, remember when we came out to Canaan, we were supposed to destroy all the nations when we came to the promised land. God said we was what? They did not destroy the nation concerning whom the Lord commanded them. God is telling us, those people in the land, we were supposed to destroy and get them out the land. But we didn't do that. But were mingled among the heathen. But what's that? We started integrating with them. Marriages and so on. But God said don't do that. We he did. He told us to do the opposite. Destroy them, get them out the land. Not to be with them. And learn. Hey, my brother. Hey, Rod. Real quick. Before you leave. Listen. Listen, I know this is harsh. Take that fly. This is not a thing to bring any hatred, any violence, or anything like that. But you got to understand, that is the commandments of God. Because... This happened to us, and we're in the condition because why? Because we disobey God's commandment, right? That's right. Knowingly or unknowingly, you're going to get what? Judged. Right? So I know I'm not, you did it in ignorance because in the world it's okay. We didn't know this, but God is saying, now when you learn, you got to do what you got to do. Hey, let me tell you that. Let me tell you what true love is. You love him, right? To death, right? You love her, right? True love, because we always like to say God is love. True love is accepting truth. And true love is, you want to see him be the greatest thing on this planet, right? God says you have to do what you got to do. God says you got to do what you got to do. Now, it's it's hard. I tell you, you got to hate it. Or anything else, you ain't got to hate him. We're not preaching hate up here. But if for him to get to his true form that you want to see, like you just said it, you have to do what God said. That's what true love is. One, while you leave, give me some rock too. I want you to listen to this. So rock too. The book of some rock. Listen, when you come, when you once you start learning the truth, it's, it, it becomes trials and tribulations to serve him, the Lord. But guess what? Everything that we was taught that we like to do, we gotta actually do the opposite from God. Just like a parent that got kids. When you tell your kids that certain things, you're going to tell them they ain't going to want to do. But guess what? If they, if they don't obey, you're going to punish them, right? We have to obey even if it's not. He's our father, heavenly father, right? The book of Sirach, chapter 2, verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. Man, you got to prepare yourself. When you got to the Lord of the Bible, really follow him you're going to prepare yourself but you're going to have to endure decisions that you personally don't want to do and it's going to be hard but if you love the lord and you have faith and you believe in him you're going to have to do things that you may not want to do but since you love the lord more you're going to put the lord his his um commandments his will first before you so listen check this out we got videos on we got a school we used to scream black power 
while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.